ranking the most popular cookies in Disney World. Which one will win? Let's find out. Ooh, science. We are here at Gideon's Bakehouse, which is a relatively new dessert spot here in Disney Springs. It opened just last year and they sell cookies, cakes, also icing and some other curiosities. So very interesting theme. We'll check it out a little more when we get inside. They also are very famous, as you can see by this huge line already, barely, not even an hour after Disney Springs has opened. We got in line at 10.15 this morning and the line was already about an hour's long wait. We'll see if that's actually how long it is. Look, there's Sage and Emma holding down the fort. Oh. Oh, they're river dancing. Now it is a Saturday. Right now the line is completely a physical line, just wraps right around Morimoto Asia here. But when the line does get longer, they may institute a virtual queue. I have seen it last for up to six hours. I've actually seen it longer on busier days, but I've waited six hours for it before. I've literally come to Disney Springs, gotten in line, and then left and come back for my Gideon's cookies. It is a very, very, very immensely popular spot. Emma has chosen to wear white on a day where we have to eat eight cookies in a hundred degree weather. Lots of chocolate. All of which will melt. So this is the Gideon's Bakehouse menu and every month they actually have a new uh, character. And this is actually Captain Cagliostro. Uh, what is he a captain of? Probably deliciousness. Now this morning, it's a Saturday again, right at 11, they did bring out the virtual queue sign, which means they probably have either just started it back at the back of the line or are starting it soon. The way the virtual queue works is that you do have to come physically speak to a cast member on the iPad to get in line. You will put your name and your number down for the virtual queue. They'll give you a estimated callback time and then you can go enjoy Disney Springs. I actually have gone home before because I live pretty close to here. And then when you call back, you come back, get in line here, and then you do have to wait in a bit of a physical line, but not as long as we've been in this morning. So every month, Gideon's does do a different type of cookie. This month for August, they're doing key lime chocolate chip, which of course we're gonna have to try, but then they do have some staples as well. And in the morning, they will have an exclusive cookie and they also have an evening exclusive cookie. You can only get those at certain times. They also have cake slices, cold brews, other beverages. There's a lot of exciting stuff. And again, it changes every single month. So one thing that makes Gideon so unique is that it does have a very intricate theme. Gideon's Bakehouse is themed around an old bookstore, which has been cleared out. Lindworm's Books is what it was called. You can actually see the old sign up above the door. And the story goes that Lindworm Books was totally abandoned until Gideon's Bakehouse moved in here, but you can still find a lot of the curiosities of Lindworm Books. If you look in the windows and once you get inside, it's a very unique interior as you're about to see. Are you excited? Are you scared? A little freaked out. A little freaked out. <laughs> Suki, there's definitely ghosts here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Lindworm in the flesh. The book owner, bookstore owner. What do you, like, what are his vibes? Like, do you think he's like... His vibes are spooky. Those are his vibes. <laughs> you guys ready to rank these cookies? Ready, ready, ready. I think I'm most excited for... Oh, chocolate chip banana bread? Sorry, I just got distracted. Finish with dinner. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. I think I think I'm excited to try the new um the the, 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 the the monthly specialty, the key lime pie chocolate chip. Oh yeah, that one's gonna be. I'm pr I'm pumped for that one too. Gideon's also does have these colossal cakes, which they sell in the form of colossal cake slices. I'm actually a bigger fan of the cakes than the cookies. Their icing is amazing. It doesn't taste too heavy. I'm not an icing person, and I literally love those huge layers of icing in these cakes. So. If I was if I was choosing today, I would choose a cake slice, but I have to rank the cookies with you guys instead. I mean, I might just get one for my own person. You're gonna eat eight cookies and then also a cake slice. Yeah. Don't judge. We didn't we didn't say cake slice. We said cake. Coffee. Cookies. <laughs> Oh, why is it so spooky? You guys it's Gideon's Gideon's spooky. Nah, fair enough. <laughs> Each of our cookie boxes did come with these cool trading cards, which are super, super awesome collectibles. All of that Gideon's art of those big-eyed characters is done by Michael Reyes, who is supremely talented. Olivia Lovecraft for a morning Joe. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sympathetic about my morning Joe, but I, you know what? I, Look at how many friends she has. Oh. But he's sad, and sadness is helpful for cookies. I think it's the other way around. Oh, cookies is helpful for sadness. Yes, yeah. All right, cookie haul. Cookie haul. Cookies. 
so many cookies. All right, so we got one of every cookie, including the limited time offering. Now, just to note with those, they are there for the month and then gone. They do change, but we're gonna rank it today because there is always a limited time offering. This right here is gonna be the original chocolate chip cookie, the famous one. Above it is gonna be the banana bread chocolate chip. Cookie. Cookie, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought that was she had a good. Bad. There were that more words bad. that Emma thought was coming. Yeah. Uh, this one is the uh, triple chocolate. Super excited about that one. Under that one, we have the limited edition cookie, which is the key lime chocolate chip. This one is the morning exclusive, which is the coffee cake cookie. Then, of course, we have the pistachio toffee cookie. Amazing. This one is my favorite. Spoiler alert. This is the cookies and cream cookie. And then the one I'm weirdly most excited about is the peanut butter crunch cookie. Amazing. Are you guys excited to eat so many cookies for breakfast? I'm pretty pumped. I'm, I'm, I have feelings. Did you wear stretchy pants? Yeah. Uh, You're wearing jorts. Yeah. Jorts. I saw, I saw, I saw, they tell you the cookies go straight to your knees. Yeah. <laughs> so if you follow Gideon's Bakehouse on Instagram, they actually, uh, that's where you can find them, uh, release new uh, cookies. And even if you follow the story, they'll give you some like, secret passwords that you know will get you a secret cookie and different things like that so definitely check them out on Instagram it's raining and uh, okay up uh, save the cookies save the cookies it's raining oh god it's raining it's, cookies are damp <laughs> so uh, we uh, quickly ran under an umbrella and don't worry guys it immediately stopped raining are you serious yeah no yeah it, it's good that, that guy's doing it for the Sun Oh, all right. I'm starting with the pumpkin chai cold brew. Now this is one that they introduced to be limited time, but it was so popular they pretty much just kept it around. And as a pumpkin fan, I'm excited about it. Well, that's really good. The only one we didn't get today is the peanut butter, which um, I actually don't love the peanut butter, although most people do. It's very, very like, it's like real peanut butter, so it's pretty like the flavor isn't isn't completely there because it's actually made with real peanut butter and it doesn't dissolve as well. But that makes it really high quality, so it's a give and take. This I'm mostly getting flavors of pumpkin, which is awesome because I'm not a huge chai person. It also is still a cold brew despite having like chai flavors to it, which means it's still like got the cold brew combination of the coffee flavor. I'm a big fan of this. I also got another cold brew. <laughs> This is the orange mocha, which is one of their limited time full brews. And I'm thrilled about this because of those those chocolate oranges you get at Christmas time. Ooh. That you that you break open? Yes. I, I don't think I know what that is. What? No, I know exactly what you're new, talking about. New video, I just give Sage a Christmas orange. <laughs> Check out the socials. <laughs> this is the best. This is so good. Oh, what? This is way better than I was expecting I'm it to be. I'm shocked. It is like a lot of orange flavor. Like it tastes like it has orange extract in it. It probably does. But the first taste you get is like a super mocha-y, chocolatey taste. But none of it is too heavy. None of it is too sweet. They oh my goodness, they should keep this forever. They call Ooh. it a refreshing summer dessert coffee. Is that what you would describe I would, it as? I would call this a refreshing summer dessert coffee. Ooh. This is so good. Good news. Well, bad news, but good news. It is raining again. So I feel more vindicated that we found this umbrella table. Also, this is the perfect view to see your face. Yeah, I really love hanging out, Sage. <laughs> you, this is just a great time for you and I to chat. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I got the cookies and cream. Cold. I'm actually really excited about this one. I have had the peanut butter that Quincy was talking about before. This is the first time I'm trying this one. I'm gonna give it a good stir though. I've had it for a minute, so. So my first reaction is cookies and cream. I mean, if you've had cookies and cream, like a cookie, or even just like the Hershey chocolate bar, this is a cookies and cream chocolate bar, that's exactly what this tastes like. It's honestly not a lot of coffee, cold brew taste. I like it either way. It's good. Out of these two, I prefer the peanut butter, I think. It's been a minute since I've had the peanut butter, but if I had to choose, I would probably take the peanut butter over this. Is there more cookies or more cream? More cream. Okay, that's like, like can, you, can you taste like little like chocolatey bits in there? I know that they're there, but only because of like, the, there's like a filmy after. Yeah. And it's left on my skin like a film. And that is the cream and cookie combo. The great thing about Gideon's cold brews is that they're all made with oat milk, so they are vegan. Not Yay. the order of special. They're just Hashtag vegan from the start. <laughs> okay, so I have this month's limited edition key lime chocolate chip cookie. Let's see, uh... <laughs> Here we go. See how it tastes. <laughs> it's so fudgy. <laughs> so, uh, funny enough, 
it's like there's not a lot of key lime. It's it's almost like it's like it's like a sprinkle of key lime. It's it's really heavy on the chocolate, uh, the chocolate chip part of it, with just like a sprinkle of key lime, which was probably what they're going for, I think. Um, but uh, I, I really enjoy it. I think it's a great if you're. It's it's, it's a little beachy because key lime. It's but but again, it's just a little sprinkle of key lime pie, not too much. But uh, can we rate it like a something out of ten? Or? Yeah, let's rate it out of ten. Uh, so if I'm gonna rate this, I I would say I mean, maybe like a maybe like a six, just because I I feel like I'm gonna like something better, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna start just like on the on the average scale of, of six. Six scary books out of ten. The six scary books out of ten. Okay, are you ready for your bite? Yes. All right. <laughs> What'd you give it? A six. Okay. I'm actually gonna go seven. I really like it. I'm gonna go six and a half. Why? To be different. I'm just curious. I'm, I like Fair. it better than you did and less than she did. I think. That's the vibe. Although okay. I did get a bite that has the crumbly crust on it, and those are those big chunks on top, and that was really, really good. Just kidding, I'm bringing it down to a six. In the scale of Gideon's cookies, on the scary book scale. Seven. I'm sticking to it. So I've got the banana bread chocolate chip. Now this cookie is technically limited edition as well, but our menu notes that it's got an extended stay. So maybe from popularity, maybe it'll be around for a really long time. If it's good, hopefully. Well, let's find out. Ten spooky books out of ten. Really? Like out, this is the second this cookie. Is your, yeah. Out, out the like gate. Ten spooky books. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why? We have to try it. Oh, this is so good. It's got a lot of really great real banana flavor like well there's a little bit of that kind of like artificial note at the end but i actually like artificial banana which is a weird unpopular opinion so we'll have to see how you guys feel about it um but it tastes like it literally tastes like the perfect blending of banana bread and a gideon's cookie gideon's cookies are so one of the reasons they're so popular is because they actually taste like you're kind of biting into cookie dough um because they're so soft this tastes like banana bread cookie dough with beautiful chocolate chips and walnuts on top. I would eat 10 of these and then I would throw them up because no one should do that. But this is so, 10 spooky books. Oh my God. All right, you ready, Mama? I don't know if it's 10 spooky books. I know, that was aggressive. Yeah. Aggressively positive. Here we go. It's good. I don't want to agree with her, but wow. It's good. All right, I'm going to, I don't know. I'm still waiting for Gideon's to give me like that that nice slap across the face that goes, whoa, this is good. That no, this one made me hang my head in shame for making fun of her. <laughs> Alright, so, so you're saying you're both saying I'm still good. I don't I'm, even like walnuts. And this is ten for me. I'm gonna say seven scary books. Or spooky books. Seven spooky books. The scary book scale was that? <laughs> that's that's the aggressively scary. I don't know. I'm gonna say seven spooky books. You said ten? What is happening? Okay, I am doing the peanut butter crunch. I'm actually very excited about this one. I love a lot of peanut butter, so we'll see. So a lot of peanut butter is correct. I basically described it before I even took a bite, because that is just peanut butter. The longer it has sat here, it is melted peanut butter. I like it. I don't think I could eat a whole cookie, and if it did not have the salt crumbles on top, I could not take a single bite of it. But it's really good. If you love Jif peanut butter, you should try this. I forgot to rate it. I'm so sorry to my spooky book community. Um, I'd say five spooky books. Five. I want to preface, and people are gonna not like me for this, but I don't love peanut butter, and I'm doing this just solely for research. For research, and we are dedicated scientists. Science. Science requires you to eat peanut butter seeds. Alright, here we go. Agree with Emma? I'm a big peanut butter cookie fan. Seven spooky books. Yeah, again, if you're not a fan of peanut butter, just don't. <laughs> As a blanket statement, this this is so much peanut butter. Um, if you're not a fan of pe uh, peanut butter, this is not, not the cookie for you. So I'm gonna say it two out of two two spooky books. Two spooky books. So this is the coffee cake cookie that's exclusive only in the morning. So you can get this uh, this kind of coffee cake only in the morning. There's a different one later in the evening. So uh, here we go. All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's 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 not bad. It's got that like. It's like a like a light cinnamon flavor in it, and uh, it's one of those it's one of those textures like it feels like when, if you were to eat a like when you eat cookie dough, it has kind of like that that almost like kind of like sugary grainy texture when you're eating it. I like it a lot. Uh, it's a it's a great coffee cake. So I'm gonna say um, 
to give this one an eight. Okay. Coffee cake. Coffee cake. And eight ten. I'm tossing out tens. That's nine nine spooky books. Ten spookies. Nine spooky books. Mid cookie ranking check in. How we doing? Uh, pretty good. I just I'm just like, why am I the, the Simon Cowell of the cookie of the cookie judging table? Who 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 would have thunk it? Emma's the Paula Abdul. Are you the Paula? I hope so. That makes you the. Randy Jackson. I have a no for him, dog. <laughs> okay, I luckily pulled the original as my next one. The original is just a massive chocolate chip cookie, absolutely covered in chocolate chips. So, first, I'm actually genuinely worried I have chocolate in my teeth. You're good, mama. Good, okay. Just basically chocolate chips. It's a great cookie. It's really good. Of course, we've had it for a while, so it's melted at this point. You know, you can kind of see. It's melty, it's good, it's chocolatey. If it did not have the sea salt on it, I would not like it as much. I think it's good if you like a classic cookie. It's a good one with just a little bit of an extra zhuzh to it. How many so, spooky books? I'm gonna give it like six spooky books. It's good, it's not gonna be my favorite. I probably would choose more unique flavors than this one. All right, here we go, ready? Yeah. Uh, what's this? The original, oh. classic chocolate chip. The original. I'll preface by saying I'm not a chocolate fan, so for me this one's going to be a four scary dice. What? Oh, see, I'm a classic. I was going to go, I was, I'm a classic guy. I was going to give it eight spooky books. Different strokes for different folks. That's right. All right, I got cookies and cream. Now, this is a long-standing favorite of mine, so I'm very excited to try it. I've gotten real lucky with the cookies I'm pulling out of this box, because this also, for me, is a ten spooky books. It is so soft. The, there's actual cookies and cream, which are Oreos in there, and they dissolve into the cookie batter and become like all the same, like beautiful cookie dough-like texture. There's a little bit of crunch from the chocolate pieces on the outside. I have eaten an embarrassing amount of these in my life. And Gideon's has only been open at Disney Springs for like a year. So I, I if you love cookies and cream anything, get this, I've heard cast members at Gideon say that anybody who likes cookies and cream raves about this, says there's nothing that beats it, and I'm one of those people, despite not liking chocolate that much. Cookies and cream, baby. Quincy said everything I would say. I'm going to go nine, though. Nine spooky books. Yeah, I'll rock with you on that. Nine spooky nine. books. Wow. I have good, good taste. Okay, we are down to our final two. We have been, like, pulling these at random. And we're all dying because we want to see who gets the melted triple, triple chocolate. chocolate. It's either you or me, Sage. And I feel like I'm going to go towards the no. back. No! Oh. I'm getting nervous. Is it it? Is it? Oh. No! Yeah. I knew it. That was, it was going to happen to me. Please look how gloriously melted this is. I was gloriously given the uh, triple chocolate cookie. Uh, it's... Let's see what happens. It's been out here a while, so I'm excited. She is rich! So, uh, it is actually really good. If you're a chocolate lover, I mean, you'll really enjoy this. Um, I think we keep talking about, like, the sea salt uh, that they put on some of these cookies. That is really what saves this, like, the richness is, like, is, is kind of, like, splitting it up with, with the kind of salt in there. Because the salt plus the chocolate, I think, kind of rounded it everything out. But... I liked it. Not, not. I don't. Not, not as good as the cookies and cream. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go back to a solid seven. Solid seven. Just, just, just cause it's so rich. So, uh, whose idea was it to eat every cookie at Gideon's, Quincy? I'm not a chocolate person, and I, I maybe was just thinking about the quickest route to the restroom, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna say six. I actually really like it. I just could not, again, I couldn't eat like half of it. She's pretty quiet back there. Quincy doesn't do chocolate. Quincy. Not for me. I would not order it. I'm giving it some points though because it is a really great chocolate cookie. There's definitely dark chocolate in here and that salt cuts right here, just like Sage said. Two. Two. Fair. Okay, I have been blessed. The last cookie which is the pistachio toffee cookie. I don't really know how I feel about pistachios or toffee, so. We keep bringing it up. The sea salt is a great addition to all of the chocolate chips. 
the pistachio and toffee I do think kind of get overshadowed by the amount of chocolate chips on it. Not my favorite, not my least favorite. Kind of bland. Uh, bland's not the right word. It's just overwhelmingly chocolatey. Um, I probably would say five spooky books. Again, not great, not bad. It just is really chocolatey, and I would prefer to taste more toffee and more pistachio. So, five spooky books. Pistachio toffee. I'm, uh, I'm with them on this one. It just feels like not, um, a lot of chocolate. I'm not really getting a lot of pistachio or, or toffee. I made sure to get a bite with both in it. Don't really taste it that much. So five out of five out of ten spooky books. Yeah, I'll go four. Four. Okay, I wrote down all of our scores. So now we can rank them based on our scores, which Let's do means. It. I just have to add all these together. Okay. All right, we have our, the results are in. And apparently we were getting extremes. We did extensive math. We had some low lows and some high highs. Well, some high highs and some low lows also. That describes the whole day pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna go from worst to best. In last place, we chose the pistachio toffee chocolate chip cookie with a score of 14, 14 out of 30. Yeah. So the next up. Peanut butter crunch with the same score of 14. 14. And then, uh, again, just, just one point above with 15 was triple chocolate. Um, at a score of 18, we've got the original chocolate chip cookie. Okay, above the OG cookie, just a, a little bit, was the key lime chocolate chip, which is the August limited time of the month cookie. I said that in the worst way. And it got 19 points. And then we made a huge jump going from uh, the key lime to, uh, with 19 points. For our top three. Yes, for our top three, which is the banana walnut chocolate chip cookie, which is third place with 27. Wow. 27 points. Coming in second, also with 27 points, the morning exclusive coffee cake cookie. You got to get here early. It's gone when it sells out. Yeah. I'm going to take it away. And at a near perfect score. Near perfect score. Oh, I can't take it. The cookies and cream oh. has ranked number one wow. with 29 points. That's wow. almost a perfect score. If I wasn't Nearly. such a... If you weren't Simon female, Cowell. Si if I wasn't such a Simon Cowell, it would have got a perfect score. That one's a yes for me, dog. So All right, so for our haul today, our three cold brews and our eight cookies, we spent $70. Cookies at Gideon's are about $6. I will say they're definitely shareable. They're huge, uh, but that's pricey for a cookie. It is pricey for a cookie if you're splitting one or two of them, I think that's fine. You can feed a lot of people. They don't need an entire, you might want an entire cookie. You don't need an entire cookie unless you just want one. I don't think it's horrible. I would not spend $70 again. Well, and however, also for your body and how I'm feeling right now, is is it the, was it the smartest move to do all eight cookies in one sitting? In one morning. In one morning. Probably not. No, we do not recommend. Do as we say, not as we do. And yes. we are for science. Yes, yes. science. For you. Science. You don't have to. We're professionals doing this. Especially because the, cookie, uh, the cookies melt and uh, yeah. it gets a little mushy, but I hear they do freeze pretty they well. They freeze very well. You can take them home, wrap them up in saran wrap, put them in your freezer for months on end. I have done that, and then that's the best souvenir you can bring home from Disney World. <laughs> Actual cookies. If you like this video, go like and subscribe. Now go watch us drink around Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Bye. See you there.